All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to our series circuit calculation vi video. <clears throat> okay, so um, just to jump right in, instead of giving the whole circuit, we're just going to work with, we're going to have a conductor wire with three resistors. And we're going to have 10 ohms here. 10 ohm resistor here and a 10 ohm resistor there and the question at, is going to ask us uh, what will be the equivalent resistance in this resistance in this given circuit our option a is 60 ohms option B is 3.33 ohms and D is uh, or C is 30 ohms all right well if we remember our resistance our total resistance total it is our one plus r2 plus r3 10 plus 10 plus 10 our answer is 30 okay and for this question getting that focus together we have a resistor here a resistor here and a resistor here uh, we'll say that this battery is 12 volt direct current 5 ohm resistor here a 5 ohm resistor here and a 5 ohm resistor here okay so a couple things we are going to need to find out what we ultimately want to find out is the total um one of the things is the total resistance in a series circuit and then what we're also going to do is we're going to compute the voltage drop across the resistor okay so the first thing uh we need to do uh is find our total resistance all right so our total And the series circuit equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. So our total is going to be equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. 15 ohms is the total resistance. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just put here R. Total 15 ohms. So now what I want to do is I want to find the current. The current is going to be equal to voltage, or over here I'll just write current, which is I equals voltage over total resistance. Okay, so voltage is 12 and our total is 15. All right, so take 15. Every fraction is a division problem or multiplication problem, but okay, nine. Looking at this, I'm gonna do this by hand. And we'll multiply by eight. 120. So that's going to be multiplied by 0.8 amps. And that is our current. 8 amps. Now, I said 8 amps, but it's actually 0.8 
0.8 amps. All right, that is the current flowing through the system here. Uh, and I like to demonstrate that by just having an arrow, arrow bend in the, the corner. And 0.8 amps is the current that's flowing through the system. So now at this point, we need to find voltage drop. As the current passes through each resistor, it's going to drop the total amount of volts. So, this would actually be, uh, alright, actual voltage is going to equal current times resistance. So, you got 0.8 amps here, 5 ohms, and 8. 0.8 times 5, 40, 4 volts. Now, so each resistor is going to take away 4 volts. And what you're going to find is 4 volts drop here. Alright, volts drop here is 4. So it goes from 12, takes off 4 here, takes off 4 here take us all four here. The current remains the same around along the whole circuit. So um, the interesting thing that I want you to note is that here we have 12 volts coming here towards it but this takes away four. Then we have eight volts here. Four is taken away. Then we have four volts at this point. And then zero so that is the potential difference but four plus four plus four equals twelve so all the resistance <laughs> takes out it drops a certain amount of voltage around the circuit but four volts is the voltage drop at each one of these points of resistance so I think I conveyed everything I needed to. We talked about resistance in series, uh, finding the current, which is I, voltage over total resistance. And then we found our voltage trough, which after we find the current, we multiply times resistance, 4 volts, 4 volts, and 4 volts. And then we also demonstrated how we started at the battery with 12 volts. But as we run through the resistors, we get a voltage drop. So we come around here with 12, cross the resistor, we have 8, cross the resistor, we have 4, cross the resistor, and then we have 0. So that's pretty much all I want to cover in this video up to this section. So uh, thanks for watching, and there's going to be more to come. Now in this example... We're going to start out with our battery, and this would be 12 volts direct current. And we have two bulbs here, light bulbs. One presents 2 ohms of resistance, the other one presents 4 ohms of resistance. And the thing we're going to first figure out is we're going to find out what our current is. Alright, so using Ohm's law again, I equals voltage over total resistance. Okay, over there. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. In order to find total resistance, voltage is 12. Total resistance is 2. They're in series, so it's 2 plus 4, which is 6. So we have a current of 2 amps. Okay. It's easy enough to find. 2 amps. And what we're going to find now is the voltage drop across the resistors once we find our current. So voltage equals current, which is I times 
resistance. So the voltage drop here would be 4 and the voltage drop here would be 8. And again, like I showed you in previous videos, as uh, okay, we got to make sure. All right, the battery starts out, we have 12 volts. Okay, now we established what our current was going to be because it was voltage over the total resistance that the two bulbs are giving us two and four. So we came up with two amps, and when we have our current and we come around the circuit, our voltage drop is equal to amps or current times the resistance. So 2 times 4 gives us 4 volts. We have 8 at this circuit and then this takes out. So notice how we come around strong with 12 volts. Voltage drop 1, 4. We have 8 remaining voltage drop. So we have 0. So that's the potential difference that kind of drives the system. Alright. And We'll stop that one. Stop there. Okay, now this one, after I write out the circuit, you can pause this. And I would like you to do this one on your own. Pause this, see what you come up with. Um, okay, we have 24 volt direct current battery we have two ohm a two ohm resistor here a one ohm resistor here and a five ohm resistor here okay so I want you to find check my real estate I want you to find I what the current is and I want you to up and just put V drop I want you to find a current and a voltage drop across resistor 1, we'll label this R1, R2, and R3. And at this point I'd like you to pause it and work things out on your own, see what you come up with. Pause here and then we'll come back. So I'll wait a little bit. Okay, at this point you should have uh, gone ahead and worked out the problem. Now again, to find current, we need its voltage over total resistance. Alright, so we have a 24, 24 volt battery. 24 over resistance total. Total resistance is 2 plus 1 plus 5 because it's in series. So 3, 5, 8 ohms is our total resistance okay so we divide that and we will come up with three amps okay so coming around we found I which is three amps now to find the, the voltage drop at each resistor it'll be current times resistor so we have six volts here across we have six volts across that resistor we have three volts across the resistor here and then we have 15 volts across the resistor here okay and to check it just to make sure you're right just watch we start out with 24 volts we drop six so it should be 18 volts remaining three 15 so we lose another 3 we should have 15 volts remaining 15 and then at this point we should have 0 volts remaining because it's, it's run all across the system so you see that the resistors are actually just equivalent in equ equivalent fashion just kind of taking away enough voltage for their resistance so hopefully you got 6 volts across this resistor 3 volts across this resistor too and 15 volts across resistor 3. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, we'll do another one. Okay, in this question, we're going to have an unknown battery. 
we do no we well we we can assume based on the problems that we've been doing uh, that it is the direct current. We just don't know how many we just don't know how many volts. All right, a given is two amps is the current running through the circuit. All right, let's just make sure we got enough. Okay, so two amps two amps is running through the circuit. I'll just put 2A here because that could appear like a V from a distance. Okay, so we have two amps running through the circuit. We have a 2 ohm resistor here, and we have a 10 ohm resistor here. Now, looking at this, uh, if our current is 2, all right, and if we wanted to find the voltage drop, then all we need to do is multiply current times resistance, and that'll give us voltage across the resistor. So if 2 times 2 is 4 volts at this point at resistor 1, and 2 times 10 is 20 volts across this resistor, then I could add these two up, and that tells me that I have a 24 volt direct current battery that's our answer we found our battery um, so that was the answer to that